guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chloe Brown and today I'm so excited to announce that I am teaming up with Croc to give away a flat iron. My favorite flat iron, the flat iron that I've been using for eight years now. Um, can you tell I'm excited? I, this, this thing, I always say if I could go the rest of my life with just using one hair tool, this thing would be it. So this is the new classic infrared flat iron. It's the one and a half inch, but just a little behind the story of why I love croc is because I use it. Like this is the product that I can stand behind. This thing got right here, got me in love with the company croc because it has never failed me. I do not promote things that I do not believe in. And I hope you guys know that. Um, and that's why I wanted to do this giveaway was because I believe in this product. I want you guys to have it too. Um, yes. So make sure you enter the giveaway. So what you have to do, the giveaway rules are to subscribe to my channel, go over to Crocs Instagram, follow them on there, and then come back here and comment done when you're done so I know that you've entered. I will be checking everybody, so make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, following Croc on Instagram, and then comment done. So, good luck. We will be announcing a winner on Monday. Monday! That's like in a couple days. <laughs> so, good luck to all of you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, all right, I'm gonna show you how to achieve this tutorial using this flat iron. Here we go. All right, guys, you wanna see why I love this flat iron so much? If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I use this flat iron all the time. Um, but you go ahead and turn it on. Goes up to 410 automatically. The highest setting is 450. I personally like it at 350, and then I press the on button one more time, and that turns on the infrared lighting on the inside. Can you see that? There we go. It's good stuff. Like this is used for when you have like stinky hair, <laughs> like you go to the gym or something. I use it all the time. Um, my hair never smells like ever. Okay, before I get started and um, do my hair today, I washed my hair earlier. I put some Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum in it and that's it. So I'm just gonna put some heat protectant. I usually like putting two types of heat protectant in. Um, just because my hair is bleached and we gotta protect, we gotta protect while we can. So I'm gonna use the Croc Multiflex um, Super Heat Protectant. All right, now I'm gonna section my hair. I'm gonna do the crown, the like underneath part first. So I do have an undercut. I'm not gonna touch any of that, um, but this is how big my section is. So if you don't have an undercut, don't do a section this big. But um, if you do, you know what I'm talking about. I do need to get my undercut. Uh, touched up <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take the flat iron and what this is like my new favorite way of styling my hair I learned it from Justin Delahaye in Florida if you guys do not follow Justin He's an amazing hairstylist, but he does this to like all of his um, His clients that have like short bobs. So we're gonna curl everything under on this section Everything is just going to be sleek and curled under. All right, now that that bottom section is all done, let's go to the next section. All right, on this one too, I'm going to curl everything under. In the back, I really like starting at the root. I like starting at the root at all my hair. It gives it that like natural um, volume because I, I love volume. <laughs> and so if you put your straightener like right to your scalp and start curling there, you'll get that like lift right at the root. I'm just gonna curl this little bad boy it wants to go there. So we're gonna just make it a part of my undercut. And then next section, this section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the front two 
pieces that I pick up and I'm gonna curl them backwards. So I'm gonna set, watch my hand movement, I'm gonna set my curling iron here. My hand placement is on top and I'm gonna curl down. So it's like a flatter curl, but there's still a curl in it. And I'm gonna curl back away from my face. So same thing, I'm going in at an angle, putting that curling iron in there and then pulling it down. This way, the curl lays really nice to my head and doesn't stick out super far. Okay, and then this third section, I'm gonna curl, I mean, straighten. <laughs> and then I'm gonna flat iron the rest of my hair with that slight bend at the root and then bend all the way down. This side I always wear behind my ear unless I like change my part, but we're not doing that today. Now, since this side's already parted, I'm just gonna do this side in the back because I'm gonna have, I'm gonna keep that deep part right there. So, let's clip it over to the side. Take the first three sections now, since this was a little back further, we're getting up closer to my face or my forehead. Um, watch my hand movement. Take my hand, put it on top, and just slowly, gradually pull it down. And then see, it makes that really nice wave right there. This is my favorite. Again, just like that. And then we're gonna take that third section, which is right above the second section from the previous curl. Just like that. And then we are gonna flat iron the rest. So put that lift root at the top. I'm not gonna touch these. I'm going to just let them cool down because I do want the curls to stay. So I want them to come to room temperature before I move them at all. All right, so this, I'm actually taking like pretty big sections here. Still doing the same technique, right at the root. Constant movement. Look at how perfect. <laughs> I love it. It's honestly, curling your hair is all in your hand placement. So go up. I'm gonna do one more. Perfect. And then let's start at the back first, just because I wanna see if I need to curl anything else up front. No, I think that's good. And then this, I kinda of just, I want that deep part, but I like to keep the back section folded over. So even though I, do a deep part right here at the base. I kind of just do like a V, I don't know. Okay, so this part is gonna just be curled down. The back is gonna be the same. We're changing nothing in the back. So technically what this hairstyle is, is you're just straightening your hair or adding that like little curl to it, but then adding like a twist in the front or a little wave. Okay, the rest of this I'm gonna curl. Make sure that these are really sleek and laying down all right there pretty nicely I might just add a tiny bit of a wave to that nothing nothing too big but just a slight movement in there and then I think that's it okay now we're gonna go get a comb 
and some hairspray and I'll be right back. Okay, and now that we're here, I kind of let everything um, come down to room temperature. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this back section of hair right here, start in the middle and really just pull down that hair and really focus that tease right at the scalp. Usually I do like three or four tugs. One, two, and you wanna hold this tight up here. Just like that and then usually do like three sections and then just let it go back, don't touch it. Same here. Just that tiny bit right there. Here I take a diagonal section. I do have like a dead weight right here. So we're just gonna pull it back. Okay, just like that. So I look crazy. I'm gonna add one just right in the middle here just to add some movement and one right in here. And I think that'll be it. I'm gonna take the Hold Me Hairspray. It's on medium. Just a very, very light spray. Honestly, you could use any like medium to light hold hairspray that you want. And now I'm just gonna use my fingers to just dye this tease down. Maybe just brush it over just a little bit with the comb. In the front, I like to use my fingers because I don't want to brush anything out. And then I like to just brush my comb through the bottom of my hair back here and then kind of push it up with my hands just because I like that smoothness down at the bottom. There we go, a super easy way to add some curl to your hair, but it doesn't take a lot of work because you're straightening most of it. And thanks Justin for the inspiration. <laughs> I seriously am like, am obsessed with this. So I'm gonna do a 360 so you guys can see everything. So curl here, everything else is just flat. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and this tutorial. If you haven't already, please go enter the giveaway because this thing is like, if I had to go through life with only one hair tool, this would be it. I use it all the time and it's so versatile because you can straighten, curl, crimp. Like I've done the crimp waves with this thing and it works great and it adds body. So if I could just do one tool for the rest of my life, this little sucker would be it. Sure, it is expensive. I do have a code for 30% off that you can use. I wish I had that code when I bought my, uh, my flat iron back then. Um, so for the giveaway rules, um, you are more than welcome to enter now, which today is Friday. We're gonna be closing the giveaway Sunday night at 12 a.m. and then I'm gonna be announcing the winner on Monday morning. So technically Monday morning at 12 a.m. is uh, when the giveaway closes. So I'm so excited and stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing another giveaway on my channel shortly. So make sure you're subscribed anyways because you do not wanna miss that one. Thank you for almost 50,000 subscribers. Like this is amazing. I was just talking to my husband the other day and I just, I'm so thankful for you guys. I'm so thankful for your support and I'm so thankful for um, your beautiful comments over this transition for my face. You guys have been just so wonderful and so uplifting and so encouraging through the whole thing. I love you guys. Oh, I, I can't wait to find out who wins. Okay, love you, bye.